Зараз маю приємність представити вам молодого студента Андрія Водославського, який придумав нову комерційну гру в карти. Гра називається «За волю» і представляє боротьбу УПА проти нацистів. Center Stage is brought to you by Canada's National Ukrainian Festival, July 29th, 30th and 31st in Dauphin, Manitoba. I've got Andrew Vodoslavsky with me here, the creator of a new card game called Zavolu. Uh, Andrew, thanks so much for meeting up with us today. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about the game. What is it all about? Well, uh, the concept of the game is that uh, each person has a deck of cards and each of the decks of cards represents either the Ukrainian insurgent army, UPA, or the German army, Wehrmacht. So it's World War II related, right? That's right, yeah. So it's sort of like a war game, you would say? Yes, yes, it's definitely a war game uh, where the point of the game is to lower the morale total, so a point total mm -hmm. of the opponent, from 21 points to zero points. And you do this by attacking, uh, by uh, attacking with agents, by using uh, all sorts of interesting strategies. Now, what's the purpose of the game? Is it just to have fun, or did you have some other things in mind when you were putting it together? Well, there certainly was a an educational aspect that I considered. Mm -hmm. I was approached a couple of years ago by a teacher that asked whether I have any teaching aids or whether I'm going to develop any teaching aids uh, to do with UPA uh, that might be fun for the kids in her school. And I answered that I did have, in fact, a very preliminary design of this game at that time. Um, and that sh proved to me that there was a market for educational uh, games as well. So it sort of teaches um, you know, people who play this game about some history, World War II related history with UPA, uh, things like that, and also language, I guess, because yeah. it is in Ukrainian, right? Yes, that's right. The, the game is in Ukrainian. Uh, there are a couple of um, important educational aspects to the game. First, it, it teaches about the existence of the Ukrainian insurgent army, something that not everyone is completely mm -hmm. aware of. It teaches that the UPA fought against Germany, uh, especially in this context, um, as well as others. It is in Ukrainian, so it definitely has, uh, develops uh, vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there is, it does all this while being fun. Right, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Like a, co the, it's like a cottage game, because it is a card game. Yes. Oh, that's it, the way I would see it. You would play this at your cottage or whatnot. Well, that would be a very appropriate place. Uh, it was originally created, in fact, for a uh, plast camp, mm -hmm. so a, a summer camp, and uh, when it's raining outside, clearly you can't do all the regular activities that are in the program, so uh, I developed this game, or the, the predecessor of this game, in order to take that time up while being productive in the so same time. So you were time. bored at a, like a plast uh, weekend, and you thought, you know, why don't we try to make up a game to play? <laughs> More or less, yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> So is that, I mean, when you came up with that idea, how did you go from, like, I don't know if you kind of took pieces of paper and you drew things on them, how did you get from there to, you know, this beautiful game that you have now? Well, it certainly was a long and detailed and involved process. Uh, I began with the, the text on the cards. I thought, mm -hmm. well, well what, what do I want each card to do? So after I've created at least a general framework of how a game might function, I created cards on, a, on pieces of paper, just to mm -hmm. scratch notes on what the card should be doing. And I put those in little plastic sleeves that are especially meant for these kind of cards. And then I, I played with, uh, with some of my friends. So at this point, there were no images. And I pl did that for a couple of years, on and off. And then the day came that I said, I am ready to commission the art. And I approached several art companies and a couple of um, a layout people, and um, I was able to create the artwork uh, with the mm. help of these individuals. And where is this made, these cards? The, the cards are printed in Ukraine, in Lviv in okay. particular, yes. How, how difficult was that? Because I know I've heard everywhere that the game industry is so difficult to get into. Like, are, are you actually planning to try to turn this into somewhat of a business? Um, you know, it might not do much for you at first, but, you know, are, are you really trying to make this into a, a sellable product? Well, legally, I do have a, my own business. It's, the, it's called Painted Fox Productions. Uh, we have a nice website, www.paintedfoxproductions.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, I intend for this to be the first of a 
of a series of oh, really? Ukrainian games. What, what other kind of ideas do you have? Or is it still a secret? <laughs> well, the one that's, uh, that's, that I've, I've let loose so far is the idea of an expansion pack for this. Uh -huh. So whereas there are uh, lots of cards and lots of ideas in, in these two decks that come in this box, I want special characters like Chuprinka on the German side, Erich Koch, all sorts of fair, famous generals and uh, special units and special agents that make the game even more exciting. Mm -hmm. So definitely an expansion pack for this game is uh, on my list. But there are others as well that I have. Oh, that's great. So, I mean, we don't have too much time to go over the rules, but basically mm -hmm. you have two decks of cards. Uh, here we've got Upa, uh, which so one person plays as Upa, say as mm -hmm. I am now. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and what exactly happens? Well, uh, two people sit across from each other. Then uh, there's a certain process to choose who has the first, mm -hmm. uh, for the, the first turn. You pick up a number of cards and... and uh, there are you, number at you attack each other or whatnot? Yes, during the course of the game you would y use some cards to attack and some cards to help your attacks. Okay. In, in and then the, the game is over once your opponent's morale is gone. That's right, that's okay. right. Uh, Andrew, so if anyone wants to uh, find more information on the game or buy, buy the game, uh, where mm -hmm. do they do that? I would first direct them to our website, paintedfoxproductions.com, and there there's a list of retailers by geographical area. Great, Andrew, thanks so much. Thank you. Center Stage is brought to you by Canada's National Ukrainian Festival, July 29th, 30th and 31st in Dauphin, Manitoba.